Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, new stuff. <laughs> so, we are about to embark on our pre-adventure adventure. Yeah, because uh, camping, our first time camping, is in six days. Ooh. Yep, so we have all of our gear that we purchased so far, which most of us based off of recommendations from YouTube, mm -hmm. and we'll start putting more of those recommendations in the uh, uh, below. That description thingy. That description thingy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're totally noobs. We yeah. are very noobs. This is, this is a noob <laughs> adventure. A noob adventure. So what we're going to be doing is, let me get the camera turned around and you can see what we're doing and what we're dealing with. Hang on a second. So we're going to take all this and turn it into this. was this awning and if you watched in this um what's that called again i don't know where we speed up the clip oh uh time lapse if you watch the time lapse you'll see that we put this up last doing this setup we've decided this piece is going to go first because what we're trying to do is align the doors to the gazebo and the gazelle tent so that it uh, lines up with the openings of the awning and this awning was not as easy as the gazelle um, gazebo in the tent because you have to put the poles in yourself whereas the gazelle their design is the poles are there and it you just pop it out um, they went really really fast and it was very easy this so um, if you watch I'm looking at the directions Frank's looking at the directions it was not easy, but we got it figured out and hey, we didn't have to take the poles out. That I was figuring, okay, we're gonna put the poles in the wrong way because there's two blacks and one gray, but we did it right the first time. Let's take a look into the gazebo first. All right, in the gazebo, um, we got this multi-layered, um, multi-tiered <laughs> kitchen um, top that we'll be cooking and doing our prep work on. Uh, we got this from REI um, and I actually saved up my dividends for the year. If you don't know about the program with REI, you pay $20 to become a member and you get dividends at the end of the year um, and they did a 10% this year. So we use that to get this table at a better price. 
Um, the gazelle gazebo is six sided. We got the larger one and we got the flaps for the outside windows. They do go on with Velcro and on uh, the side that you're looking at, we have half of them, we have them folded in half. That way we get a breeze, but most likely we're gonna have to keep most of them up depending on our location in the campgrounds. And that's just to help Piper so that um, she can remain calm and not worried about distractions that are outside the gazebo. Um, I forget how tall this is, <clears throat> but it's plenty tall to stand up in. And then we have our kickback rockers that we also got at REI. Um, I wanted a rocking chair, and the cool thing about these rockers, we'll go into more detail maybe in another video, is they have shocks that do the rocking. Um, so they're built to last. And Frank liked it so much, he got one too. And then the Coleman table that's sitting right over here, we got at Walmart. So check Walmart out <clears throat> because uh, you can get some pretty cool things. And right now we just have the bags stowed there, but um, we'll probably stow those either in our, our truck when we're camping or maybe one of our boxes. The other thing we have is Tucker, or not Tucker, uh, bless your heart Tucker, it's Piper's chair. Um, it's just one that we have and we might actually get her a different one as she just uh, came out of the tent there with a tumble. <clears throat> no Piper, for she prefers our chairs. So getting her to be in that Purdue chair, we might have to mix it up and get her one that's bigger. She likes to lay down and these chairs aren't deep enough. Or we might bring her cot in that we have over in the tent. Speaking of the tent, let's go take a look at that one. Inside the uh, gazelle, tent. Um, it does have two doors. Uh, the second door is behind me. It's got plenty of um, windows. There's two, four, six windows, I believe, that you can open up for some ventilation. Um, and then we also have the rain guard on the top. On our cots, which we got at Walmart again, uh, we just went down to uh, Cabela's and picked up some uh, self-inflating uh, pads that have a heat factor. I think it was around hmm? R factor. Oh, that's right. R factor. The pads have an R factor, I think around 3.8 or was it 4.2? I forget. I forget. Um, <clears throat> but we're kind of going in the spring when it's going to get a little chilly at night, but might be in the forties and might dip down to the thirties. And then we did just pick up, um, basic sleeping bags at Walmart. For now, um, sleeping bags can range in price and we might upgrade and probably throw in some more blankets too. Right here in the middle, we have Piper's cot. Hi, Piper. <coughs> Let her come in here. You can come in and sit with me and look out the window. Yep. Mm -hmm. Most likely, um, she'll probably choose one of us to sleep with, but she does have a cot and we're going to try to train her to stay on this cot. But as you can see, she's all over the place. <laughs> So we'll just um, see what happens on this first trip. Um, and uh, the bags here, there's a bag on every wall. I just stuck in all the storage bags for right now for the sleeping pads and the cots and the sleeping bags. It's, it just comes in handy. And, uh, one last feature um, that we have is there's another um, screen right here that you can actually pop a light on and we haven't gotten all our lights in here but we do have lights that will be stringing up as well that are solar so this is our tent setup for now and this is definitely just a sleeping quarters all right so there's another reason why we set up everything today um we need to know what we're going to deal with with piper sleeping in a tent so tonight we're gonna test it out in the backyard and um, see what it's like sleeping in a tent with a dog. So yeah, we're gonna give it a try tonight in the neighborhood where we're close to home, you know, just a few steps to going in the house if we need to. Um, we'll also be taking her kennel with us and uh, if we need to, we can set that up when we go camping. <clears throat> and we'll update you in the morning on how our evening went um not sure if i'll grab any video after this tonight we might just recap the night uh in the morning
survived eight hours in the truck last night. We did. We did. It um, got cold. It was down to 36. It was down to 36. Heat was not a problem. I was warm. I had a problem with my pillow. Yeah, your pillow kept up falling off the cot. It would disappear in the middle of the night. I don't know what it is with you. My pillow stayed in place. It did. It did. Of course, I was all curled up on the cot with the dog. Mm -hmm. The dog did not want to um, sit on her cot, but lay on her cot, which is understandable. Um, because uh, the tent door was not open. So she, uh, I think we went in around 10. Yeah. And then she paced for about 20 minutes trying to figure out the she tent. She was all over the tent. On top of the cots, under the cots, around the cots. <laughs> and um, I had given her the chillax probably about quarter till 10. And I don't think it really fully kicked in until about 20 after 10 because um, that's when she started to settle down. Mm -hmm. The other issue with that time frame is everyone in the neighborhood was letting their dogs out for one final um, potty break that way. And people getting out of the, the bars. And... Well, I'm going to get, uh, I got a full timeline. I had my watch on. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't sleep. I was timelining. Yeah, timelining. What was happening? Yeah. yeah. So, um, she still... rested until a little bit after 11 30, I think it was. And Piper. More than yeah. Piper. 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 Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Well, she went as far as the tent. Then she's back on duty. Yep. So there was some dog barking going on. Um, there were actually a lot of people walking around, mm -hmm. kind of spaced out every hour, hour and a half. And she would hear them um, and growl and maybe wolf a little bit. She wasn't full out, you know, barking. And um, we took turns. Just but she started off the doggy grapevine. A few times. She did. She did. So we, she'd bark. hear something bark, and then it would start the dogs barking all the way down the neighborhood. So it's kind of like that Disney movie, you know, where they're... Uh, the 101 Dalmatians. It was 101 Dalmatians. It is. Okay. The barking chain. The barking chain, yes. But uh, then... So we apologize to our neighbors if they were disturbed by... By our test last night. Yes. We had to do it. Because now we know what we're dealing with inside the tent, at least in the neighborhood. Um, it was a Saturday night, and it's spring. It's 2021. Um, people are being va vaccinated, and so one of the local restaurants has outdoor music. Yeah, they had outdoor music. So uh, I feel like last night a lot of people were enjoying uh, themselves. So yeah, the cool weather, but nice weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we made it till I think we got up around 10 after six. Yeah, I was up a little earlier than that, but I was kind of like, ah, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. And then, um, actually, I got up before, I was awake before Piper was awake. Yes, You're, you woke and Piper up. I woke Piper up, and she's like completely disoriented. Not in a bad way, just kind of like, what, what, where are we at? She and, used, will wake you up, usually, usually between wake me 4 up. and 5 o'clock in the morning. Or around 1, mm -hmm. or 3. So she slept in. Mm-hmm. She's she a happy up. girl. Of course, she was uh, up most of the night. Yeah. But um. But she hopped out of the tent. She's like, "What are we doing now?" It's like it's still yeah. dark. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna finish up our coffee, and we'll call this one a wrap. So, I think pretty much overall. Yeah, there's a few we things. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. There's a few things we can improve. Yep. And uh, so we head into the store sometime this week. To get some stuff done. Um, but yeah, successful dry run. Yes. Yes. I will cheers to that. Yeah, we'll toast to that. Yeah. A little coffee, roast toast. <laughs> All right. Have a good one.